Silver Pop here, and today we're going to talk about the Dumos portable ice maker that I purchased from Amazon for my outdoor bar and grill. Bought it in April. It's been working pretty consistently since then. Three times, I think, it's just kind of stopped working and wasn't 100% sure why. Uh, could have been uh, frost gets in the refrigeration lines and it can't pump. Uh, a couple times I thought maybe it was just too hot. It does get hot down here in southeastern coastal Carolina. But uh, this time I've deduced that it is the fan that has failed. So real quick, if you watch my backyard bar and grill build videos, you know I've had this ice maker and I've really enjoyed it because I like ice in my pino. Anyway, um, got two buttons on it. Got on, off, clean, select, and you can go from small to large. Basically, the way that really works is it's actually a uh, timer. So when you press that button and change it to small, it sets the timer on the chip for a little less time. You go large, it just sends water to the nozzles for just a little bit longer. If you look back here, those are the nozzles. What happens is uh, refrigerant starts to flow through those nozzles and it starts to drip water around them and slowly it freezes into ice cubes. And then after the predetermined amount of time, whether you choose small or large, it will pressurize with water again from the pump to push the cubes off. Then this little mechanized thing kind of comes forward. No, I can't make it manually do it anyway it comes forward pushes the ice into the tray then you can scoop it out this is the water reservoir with a filter a floating filter and a small filter there back here got a very small pump so it takes that water pumps it up into those nozzles i can get a better shot of that then that's the motor for the mechanized ice scooper you got your coils your fan, the controller, and your condenser. Now the other night I went ahead and took this thing apart and uh, cause it quit working and in the past I was able to just like unplug it for like 24 hours, plug it back in and it would just start working again. And that's why I think maybe something was freezing up in the lines. But uh, I did notice that the fan wasn't coming on. So I put my multimeter on the controller pins that go to the fan, it's supposed to be 12 volts. I had 12 volts, so I know the controller's working, it's telling the fan to come on, the fan's just not working. Got some contact cleaner on the fan, but it's, I think it's our brushless fan, and uh, that didn't work. Got my hands on another fan. Now that one's a 12 volt fan. I got a 110 volt fan, which I'm gonna tie in parallel to the incoming AC power. I'm sure there's a lot more CFM, so we should be able to make some ice. Okay, so I went ahead and removed the uh, 12 volt DC fan that was tied into the control board and would blow through the coils. The fan that I found that I'm gonna have to work on some mounting hardware uh, that's long enough because the old screws are not. But uh, yep, here's my Frankenstein ice maker. And uh, get ready to test. Run ahead and plugged it in and get the pump running. <clears throat> I see it drawing a little bit of water out of the reservoir. See a couple droplets forming on the uh, little tips there. So it's a fairly simple system. Like I said, it's full of a lot of Chineseium, but it's uh, only a 60 something dollar portable ice maker. Um, and I've been putting it through some pretty extreme conditions with the heat, humidity, and all those other things. Uh, so it's not a surprise that something failed on it, but it's pretty simple. There's a couple chips. I don't know if they got anything in the control board where the buttons are, but it looks like most of the controls are in that little box I showed you on the back. They just program a couple old school EPROMs that are kind of like PLCs, a little different though, but very simple. You press the, the on button and it does a quick check. It says, hey, is there water? And it's probably checking the current on the pump to see if it's low or high if it's high 
then it knows there's water. If it's low, there's no water. It shuts the pump off and says, nope, we're not ready yet. If, it's, if it goes a little high, which is not a lot of current on a little DC pump, it says, okay, we got water. And then it says the ice isn't full because uh, there's a little sensor that lets it know that and that we're at temperature and then it starts to make ice. And then it times it. As soon as it fills up a certain amount of water and it's all timed in that chip, 28 seconds, 30 seconds, whatever they program in for large or small. And when you hit the large or small ice cube button, it chooses that timer to operate on. Pretty simple stuff. Anyway, um, it makes ice. All we gotta do is keep air flowing through the coils, keep it cold enough. And we've gotta keep uh, water in it and not too much ice. Kind of like upgrading that fan. It's like adding a supercharger to a, uh, I don't know, a Cobra. <laughs> it's That thing is pumping out some ice now. It's actually getting cold, too cold, maybe. I don't know, we'll see. But uh, I'll let you know later. Anyway, cheers. Cheers to supercharging the ice maker. Anyway, the uh, Dumas or Dumos or Dumass, whatever uh, portable ice maker uh, it is from Amazon, uh, yeah, it's probably worth the money, depending on what you're gonna use it for and your skill capability. Anyway, guys, the women don't find you handsome anymore. They should at least find you handy.